Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. I'm going to be going over everything that's happened in the past couple of days. Uh, the Square Enix stream that happened a couple days ago, I'm going to kind of go through the highlights of what they mentioned, the future of Union Cross, what's going to happen. I'm going to talk about the Baron that's going on right now and all my feelings on it. And I'm going to show you guys the next VIP medal that should be coming out. Alright, so the first thing that we got here is maintenance. Maintenance is going to happen during daylight saving time. So you got to realize what time they're saying here. They do say 1.30 to 3.30, but really the maintenance is only going to be an hour where they stay down here. It will actually take one hour because of the one hour difference for the Pacific time zone. So don't get fooled by that. Don't be like, oh, it's two hours. It's only one hour long. So take that in consideration. Then they're going to have another one on March 12th from the time of... 10 a.m. till 2 p.m., which that one is pretty long. That one's four-hour maintenance, which is going to drop a lot of stuff on it. So, uh, with that being said, maintenance, my guess is it's going to be most of the things they talked about in the stream that they did a couple days ago. Uh, level cap is going to be uh, increased to level 500 soon. If you guys don't know, right now, currently, we are level cap of 300. And in JP, up to 500, they have good rewards in the avatar board. So, it's going to be actually really exciting to see those 200 level cap increase uh, just for the amount of avatar boards that are going to show up. Also, the Riku is here. We're going to talk about that in a second. The EX, which is Friday, was supposed to be a 50 Mercy Pole. It came out 50 Mercy Pole. So, they weren't lying about that. And I'm going to talk about that in this video because I'm kind of excited about that banner specifically compared to the banners we've had so far. Uh, they mentioned 101 Dalmatian medals. Uh, don't know what they're going to do with it specifically. Maybe they'll throw it into quests like they did for the JP, but the 101 Dalmatian should be coming back, which I'm super excited for because I totally missed out on it. I didn't have enough time. The kind of way the Union Cross had it, it was really hard to manage, and it, I, <laughs> I was just really bummed out that I didn't get them, so I'm excited to get my hands on the collection again and raise my Nova. If you guys don't know 101 Dalmatian, guys, you raise your Nova by 101 if you collect all the, the Dalmatians, which is really cool. Uh, the new Union Cross is on uh, already here as well. We got out of season content coming, which is why I want to mention uh, that new VIP, which is right here, guys. This might be what they're talking about and other stuff as well, but I'm guessing because they said out of season content, the next VIP in line is this Toon Christmas Roxas here. So if you guys don't have a time seven buffer yet, like you you have 0.2 carry, but she doesn't have extra attack or anything like that, you guys can use this Toon uh, Christmas Roxas, which should help you. But I'm thinking during anniversary, they're going to show us a good... Uh, a good way of getting Kyrie X and Shiani X being an easier mercy pull, maybe a gifted one. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, they do have to do something because Kyrie and Shion is very uh, is needed. But this tune Christmas Roxas can really help with that situation. Let's say you have uh, Tifa and Aerith or something that takes down the enemy's general defense down and the attribute defense down of the enemy, you can use that with your Toon Christmas Sora, and you kind of already have yourself a Kyrie X in two medals, which is good. It's not as good as copying Kyrie X with your copycat medal, but Toon Christmas Sora into something that lowers the enemy's defenses can be a very deadly combination, which allows you to do a lot more in this game, especially because this medal has an upright buff, and because it's going to be in VIP, you can get extra attack on it, making that a two upright buff in one medal, which if, again, if you use an extra attack medal with it, a copycat medal, you can have up to four upright buffs with that. But you're just missing all that general defense down and attribute defense down. But there's medals that do that with also having high attack, like your uh, Final Form Sora, your Days Riku, they all lower general defense by three. So you can start doing stuff with El Kyrie X and Shiani X, but that's if you buy VIP. So, just a heads up on that, uh, when they talked about the out of content, uh, out of season uh, content coming, so there could be other things as well, uh, season stuff that we miss, events, metal, I'm kind of really excited for that, for the out of season content, uh, but... Oh, and it says coming this Sunday. So that is probably the VIP. We'll see. We'll see. That's just me guessing. It could be other stuff. Uh, brooms will be happening in Coliseum arriving in April. So Coliseum will now have brooms in them. Just like we saw for the raid boss this week, uh, last weekend. They had a broom as a reward in the board itself. So... It's going to be exciting how many brooms we're going to have in Coliseum. I'm really excited to see that. It's such a good improvement. Uh, hopefully, they take away those SIDs. They're not needed in Coliseum, and they just replace with brooms directly. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, extra difficult challenges with upright slash reverse attribute absorbing enemies. And I talked about this a lot in my videos where they're going to be coming out with these quests. If you use upright metals, 
that's actually going to heal the enemy or they're going to absorb the damage so you have to use reverse metals or vice versa so expect that coming don't just build an upright keyblade and think you're great you need to build an upright keyblade and you guys should be having a reverse keyblade that you have both an equal power even though upright's a little bit stronger right now reverse still has a lot of good setups so make sure you're making your reverse setup as strong as your upright setups because challenges are coming where you need both of them and of course new challenges with only one uh, with only tier 1, 2, and 3 medals, meaning that Setzer that's going on right now, which uh, you guys can see in the bottom of my screen there, Setzer, if you guys haven't farmed him yet, get on it. He's going to be such an amazing medal for that event because of his high multiplier. And don't forget, if you get like the right traits on him uh, during boosters, that medal can do a lot of damage. It's hitting at a 14 multiplier, which is really, really good. It's just it has a 50-50 chance of happening. So, uh, tier 1, tier 2s, and tier 3s only events, meaning do not sell your medals. You guys should be increasing your inventory if you ever cap out. Do not sell your low tier medals because you'll miss out on events, and these events usually have a good amount of jewels and resources in it and they said that they're gonna try to get faster story updates which is amazing because the story has kind of stopped for quite a while and it's been going really slow so i'm really excited to see the story continue because it's getting good really good um they also talked about things uh, here and there about moon gems and weekly jewel quests uh, that they really wanted to get in there, but they didn't specify anything. And thank you, Pyro, because Pyro's the one who recapped this for me on Discord. He put in the announcement. So, Pyro, great job. Thank you so much for that. I wasn't able to make that stream. So, super excited that you recapped that all for me. Uh, there might have been more. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the gist of that uh, maintenance. Uh, not maintenance, that, that Square Enix stream that happened. Great job to them. They did an amazing job putting all that information and making us super excited. I'm happy for basically all of it all of it just sounds like more content and more things that we've been asking for which is great and to go on to that things we've been asking for um actually let me hit union cross for a second union cross donut cap this actually made me laugh really hard to see your pet with a donut around its head i think this is absolutely amazing such a little good treat uh pun intended and uh it's the same thing as usual though uh union cross exactly the same you got magic mirror sets Three of them and one magic broom set. It's only here for the week. So, oh no, it's here for two weeks. Oh no, it's, it's here for a little over a week. It's there for what? That's 10 days. It's here for 10 days. 10 days. So, 10 days, not two weeks exactly, just 10 days exactly. So, on March 19th, it ends. So, one magic broom set kind of makes sense. Uh, I really like seeing when there's two magic broom sets, but they usually do that when it's two weeks long. But yeah, chat phrases, let's chat. I think that was kind of weird because how fast Union Cross goes most of the time, you don't have time to chat. And barely anybody uses the chat system, uh, which kind of sucks. So, I want to see something that's going to really help the chat system. That'd be really amazing to see because Union Cross is fun if you do it with your party, but when you do it with random people, it's great to have like little comments come up and just talk with everyone, even though everyone puts on an auto battle and just sits back and do something else. But it's still cool that we have the chatting system there. Uh, besides that, Union Cross is exactly the same. I'm actually excited about this avatar port part, the donut cap. <laughs> great little little thing there I'm going to put on my avatar once in a while. Who knows? I'm actually liking the most of the avatar parts that are coming out for free, which is really, really nice. Uh, and... The big question, guys. EX Fallen Price deal for Riku EX here, guys. Illustrated Riku EX, to be exact. And what do you notice right away when you look at this banner? One, it's an EX medal that has guaranteed tier 6 or higher. And one of those tier 6s can be illustrated is it illustrated no it's just the world ends with you art 2 which is another one for tyler uh the illustrated neku over here well it's not going to be illustrated neku but guys come on it's the character they just call it the world ends with you part 2 which they have the first one out already uh the multiplier on this guy is really really nice i'm gonna talk about him first uh because i i started <laughs> so we're gonna go with it the world ends with you r2 is an upright buff that's all it gives it deals four hits which is kind of low it's really nice for those quests that have the enemy counters with like only 12 him only doing four hits is pretty good along with that sweet damage i don't know why it's so low unless i just cut it out i think i just cut it out by accident oh no there it is it's aoe sorry so it's aoe at 13.56 so if you guys don't know red our best aoe medals in the game are 13.80 so if you do pull this illustrated neku it's upright power so it has its own keyblades that it sits on like i said a lot of medals that are coming out right now are upright power uh that we can't really fit on our fairy stars but you guys can go start using your friend rear with how much amazing upright power medals including the warrior of light which if you guys got that congrats really good medal so a lot of good Upright power medals are happening, like you said. Warrior Light right there, great. The best single target medal in the game. And then, of course, this Illustrated... Well, 
this world ends with you metal. So, besides that, it inflicts more damage the more Lux you collected in that stage. So, you just gotta kill the first little beginning enemies, and then you start getting that full multiplier of 13.56. So, it does have a condition, but usually the beginning enemies are the weakest, so it's not that bad. Once you've killed the first couple groups, you guys are pretty much good to go. It's not a lot of Lux that you need. Of course, these metals thrive in um, raid bosses, because raid bosses drop so much Lux. So, he'll definitely shine there for that. But, besides that, great great add to the the pool i think it's great that you guys can get a bunch of tier sixes and higher guaranteed which is something we've been asking for uh for quite a while we've been seeing tier four guaranteed tier four guaranteed but now we got a falling price deal with an ex in a 15 mercy pull that's actually a 10 mercy pull for thirty thousand jewels and it comes with tier sixes and higher plus magic mirrors which a lot of us are running out on so uh that's really cool the artwork on this looks really amazing and the rest of here of course you get both both of them boosted the rest of them are tier fives and on top of that i'm skipping ahead double the drop rate for the riku which is kind of cool but the percentage is still pretty low but it's still increased uh, a lot of you guys might be going this is bait this is bait this is bait uh it's bait for people that already have warrior of light and terra because what riku offers us is that upright defense down on all enemies so wrong one so here's riku multiplier when you guys look at the multiplier you're like well you just showed us the aoe in the game the best one is a 13.5 a 13.8 so that's the highest multiplier in the game and the more your multiplier the more damage you're going to do because with Kyrie x and shion x you have all the buffs and debuffs that you need except for the new upright defense down so with that being said 13.8 is the best multiplier in the game for aoe uh well not the best but like easiest to obtain and this one has 11.82 the difference is this is aoe and gives upright defense down which is such a huge increase of damage that it makes up for not having that 13 multiplier so let's say you you're, you're thinking should i change my 358 over uh two days riku for this illustrated kingdom hearts ex riku i would say yes because adding that upright defense down for the rest of the keyblade is a huge increase in damage compared to leaving that uh riku that you already have there just for the one upright attack up and three defense down because again if you have kairi and shion you have all the buffs and debuffs you need for the keyblade specifically kairi in this situation because kairi being copied into this riku you're going to see the increase in damage greatly compared to everything else now the thing is though it's not going to be where you absolutely need it but it looks like they're going towards that warrior light terra now this illustrated kingdom hearts riku ex has it uh later on zach is going to come out with a new metal coming out i forgot to get a little slideshow for you guys on that one but there is other metals are going to be easier to obtain that have the upright defense down but by one tier where these three metals i just mentioned have it down by two tiers so because riku has that upright defense down it does make it very very strong having that extra defense down you guys are gonna see the amount of difference because when i was doing the high score challenge and i copied my uh friend terra metal final fantasy record keeper terra metal i did so much more damage compared to using my valor genie there which made the world of a difference uh compared to the birth by sleep trio the upright defense down is much more of an increase in damage than that 30 percent but if you mix the two together then you're just talking about an overload power um the only thing you guys got to take in consideration if you're using fairy stars which has the highest multipliers for a lot of slots especially if you raise it past 35 um you have to fight that slot that upright magic slot between your aqua from from the aqua ex that we just got uh 358 over riku and this riku there's obviously other upright magic metals but those three are like the top tier for that slot right now and that's where you kind of got to be like what am i going to do obviously um terra is another one final fantasy record keeper terra is also an upright magic but she's single target and I think she does a lot better on the end of the Keyblade than in the beginning of the Keyblade. That 30% is nice, but having her as the finisher after an upright defense down is going to cause her just to destroy. Absolutely destroy. You guys could use a Counterpoint, but Counterpoint's uh, multipliers aren't that high either. And you do got to invest pretty heavily into it. But same thing with everything else. But... <clears throat> With all that being said, I still think this metal is absolutely amazing. Is it chase worthy? That's up to you guys. Do you want to replace your Aqua? Do you want to place the 358 over two days Riku that you got boosted or really good traits on? Remember, you only get one of these with no traits. So if you have one of those metals with traits that are amazing, it's probably a good idea just to kind of skip out on this. But 
Like I said, there's other Keyblades you can build on top of this. Uh, besides that, Riku does have 7 magic defense down on top of it, and we all know that Kairi does not fully put your attribute defense down on the enemy, which is really good to see in one metal taking care of all that. Uh, for anyone that gets like, extra attack on this metal, if you get multiple copies because of high drop rate, congrats to you. As for everything else that's happened here, I just want to tell you guys about my uh, high score challenge run. So I ended up making 63 million, squeezing out a better score, didn't have more percentage, didn't get lucky. But I did get myself a Warrior of Light with two orbs, so that's top 2,000, and I got my two copies here. So I'm going to have this guy up to... Uh, two two more orbs in there, so I need two Fantasia Mickey B's. A lot of you guys ask me, what am I going to do with mine? I only got one copy. I didn't make the 60 million. I just made top 5,000, or I only have those two copies down below. Is it worth the Mickey and Brooms? And all I can say is yes. Yes, yes, and yes. If you want a medal that destroys single target enemies, this is your guy right here. Potential to just nuke anything in your way. So if you were lucky enough to get this medal, I didn't update this one, this one says the JP version. Exactly the same though. 24.16 multiplier when you add that 30% guilt, guys. That is the highest multiplier that we have seen, all right? That is just destruction. Obviously, we're gonna get medals that are gonna be on par with this, with the 30%, uh, if you have a medal that gives 30% increase in guilt, like the Diz coming out, Scar, uh, Trident, those are all high score challenge medals, but they have multipliers of 21 point something, and with that 30% increase, you can't have as much power here, but if you have all of those medals together, you're gonna be just doing so much damage, and if you guys get Scar, with the way the friend rear is looking, uh, you are going to have such an amazing time going through the game on the friend rear with having all this power there. Because you can also use your HD Shion on there along with Scar, along with this metal here. So there's a lot of potential for the friend rear coming up, especially if you guys got yourself one of these. But I'm going to be saving that for a metal spotlight. I'm going to talk about it, show you guys my bad guilting and my bad luck and traits. Hopefully it doesn't go really, really bad. I didn't get a boosted one. It wasn't, it wasn't possible for me to squeeze out the score, or at least I didn't have enough time to figure it out, that's for sure. This week has been completely terrible, and I do apologize for the lack of content that's been happening, but I've been trying my best. Um, I think that's pr pretty much everything. If you guys don't know already, I just want to announce one quick thing. It's kind of exciting for me. I might make a separate video for this, but I am going to uh, the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross event that's happening in Anaheim, and I couldn't be any more excited for this it's actually being sponsored by square enix they're gonna fly me out there they're gonna get me a place to sleep and i'm gonna be there for the event from thursday no it's from thursday from the 14th till the 16th but on the 16th i'm leaving pretty early so i'll definitely be there during the 14th and the 15th i'm thinking of doing meetups uh for like an hour or two before the event hang out talk to each other uh but who is going let me know down in the comment section i'm actually really excited and again thank you so much for uh sponsoring me, square enix for this flight and being able to go to this event because i didn't get a ticket so i was so depressed about it that i was asking everyone hey anybody anybody and then boom this happened so thank you guys so 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 much and i cannot wait to see everyone who's going to that event i just i don't know i just i got so much joy in me i don't know how to express it but just thank you from the bottom of my heart guys for all the support from this channel from square enix from just everything that's been happening lately uh bad week turned into such an amazing amazing day so thank you so much uh if i missed anything in this video guys don't forget to leave it down in the comment section let me know what your opinions on this are you pulling for riku are you not pulling for riku yeah that's pretty much everything guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to hit the like button and as always thank you so much for watching keep on smiling and i'll see you in the next one